Here's a quick fire of today's headlines. The new Forbes list of richest Filipinos is out. And this year, it saw a dramatic reshuffle after five tycoons who have frequently made it to the list passed away. The C siblings are the richest among the new generation of tycoons replacing their father, Henry C., who was Forbes' richest Filipino for 11 consecutive years. The C's have a combined net worth of $17.2 billion, or over 890 billion pesos. Meanwhile, Manny Villar comes in second place, with net worth of $6.6 .6 billion, or 340 billion pesos. URC's John Gokongwe took the third spot, and he's followed by port magnate Enrique, Ra Enrique Razon. Meanwhile, Jaime Zobel de Ayala is the fifth richest Filipino. Philippine Airlines' Lucio Tan took the sixth spot, while Jollibee's Tony Tan Kyung is at number seven. San Miguel's Ramon Ang ranked eighth, and the T siblings are at nine. Their father, Metrobank founder George T, died last year. And rounding out the top ten is Mega World's Andrew Tan. And don't be surprised if your favorite fast food chain runs out of burgers or sausages in the coming weeks. That's because some provinces have started banning pork meat from Luzon because of the ASF scare. These provinces include Negros Occidental, Cebu, and Bohol. Meat processors continue to appeal to the government to clarify the guidelines for permits. It will allow the entry of hog products into these areas. And the Bureau of Internal Revenue shut down an offshore gaming operator in Eastwood, Libis, Quezon City for failure to pay taxes. Based on the Tax Bureau's investigation, the Libis branch of Great Empire Gaming and Amusement Corp isn't registered with the BIR as a VAT-registered taxpayer. Its main office is registered in Subic, where it's supposed to enjoy tax perks inside a free port zone. However, much of its operations are being carried out in Eastwood. The BIR also shuttered its other offices in Paranaque and Subic. But the POGO can restart operations once it pays off its deficiencies. Yung uh, buwis na sinisingil namin sa kanila lahat, sabi nga po namin, we are estimating that we should collect around more or less 2 billion a month na withholding tax sa compensation. Naglapse na po yung uh, the period within which to comply. Medyo matagal-tagal na rin po yung binigay namin grace period sa kanila. So we have no recourse but to ano, to really close